Desolate Wasteland, Episode 3. <laughs> What's with the laughing? Huh, nothing. Thought it would be cool. Well, it wasn't. Whatever. Hello, Ormac48, back again with Desolate Wasteland. I'm going to try to uh, pick up where I left off here, which I have no clue where I left off, really, but what I've been doing is expanding this. Killed a creeper, got his head. Went to the tower. I didn't video that, though, because, well, tell you the truth, I w thought I was videoing, but I wasn't. Um, forgot to hit record. But... I've been getting cobble by sifting the wasteland here. You get stones, puts four stones in the thing, and it gives you cobble, and putting cobble down, busting it up, getting sand, gravel, all that fun stuff. Um, just to find out that right near me, off in one of these directions, uh, there was sand. And there was clay. And I had to try to figure out how to make clay. I had to figure out how to make sand. But I managed to get a bucket. And I got a satchel in a house. It was in the basement of a house. I, I managed to get a bucket in the tower. At the very top of the tower, I got the bucket. So I got the bucket now. I could do some stuff with that. Have some fun with that. But what I want to do now is I want to try to so get a smeltery going. What I've done is I've got seared brick here. Now how I got the seared brick is a mess. Um, I took some cobble, busted it down. And I'll show you real quick how I did it. And I got the sand. And the clay. And the gravel. And you get grout. Take the grout, stick it in the furnace, and it comes out seared bricks. These is cobblestone, compressed. So you got to compress it. Like you take the cobblestone and you fill it in your crafting table there and see it compressed. You need eight of them to make a furnace. Well, after I did that, in the house there was a furnace, and I was like, why not just take the furnace? So that's that furnace right there. And as you can see, we got seared bricks here now. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll just throw a couple of logs in there. Okay, we got seared bricks. So I got two stacks of seared bricks now. I put a little water in my house here, so I don't have to go outside. I've leveled the hill there. That pond was up higher. Now I lowered it. I've flattened the hillside over here. And, you know, plant, been planting trees and ripping them down. Just been busy doing stuff that's just going to be boring on video. So, I plant it over here, as you can see. I plant it sugarcane. I got the sugarcane seeds from sifting. I do believe I got it for sifting the wasteland, but I wouldn't um, trust me on that. So what I want to do though is I got the sugar cane and I want to make paper. And then I got to put my planks in like that, take two sticks, make a pattern, put the pattern in there with the paper, and it gives me materials in you book. And this is a book that tells you, I guess, pretty much about Tinker Construct, stuff like that. Uh, materials in use, surviving the first day and beyond. Okay, so this is just surviving. Tells you how to, you know, make the patterns and everything for Tinker's Construct. But I built this because I want to... See, it tells you everything, like, you know... How to make blockades and fences. And here's a seared brick. And cook it. Cook the grout. Gives you a seared brick. But here's what we're going to be doing. So I got to take these 
and I got to make a smeltery controller. And I do believe I have to make another book, the Mighty Smelting book. In order to do that, we have to take this book, put it back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another book. Okay, so I got the paper. Let's make another pattern. Like this. It gives us the pattern. Let's make another book. Let's put our book back in. And now we got materials in U volume 2. So now we have to look up how to make the third book. Which it was in the first volume, I think it was. Let's see. Because we want to get into the smelting. There's volume two and mighty smelting. Okay, so we stick that book back in. And it'll give us that. So I guess what I got to do now is make another book. Because I don't want to get rid of my first book. And yes, I have some sugar cane. Oh, I still have paper. Okay. That's good. I didn't think I had any more paper. Let's do that. Let's get that. Mix that with the paper. Put that back in. There. Mighty smelting. Now I've made a stone hammer. And you could beat skeletons in pretty good with that. Let's see if we could sleep though. Just because they're annoying. Alright. Now we gotta listen to him die. Where is he? Oh, he's out there somewhere. Let's look at our mighty smelting book. Yes, here we go. Now this should tell us how to make it. Here we are. Alright. So we gotta make a controller. We just take our blocks. Like it. That makes us our controller. Now some of these I... I think I still remember how to make them. This gives us our drain in a V shape. Where's the U? Oh, see, that's in a that's a channel. I don't want the channel. I just want this faucet, and I believe this gives us our casting table. And now we gotta we gotta make some glass, so I'm gonna have to bust up some gravel here. Let's stick our sand in there. Get a piece of glass. There's our glass. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Is it surrounded? Is it like this? There it is. Seared tank. Alright. Now we gotta make some... I think it's just four though. Let me see. Yeah. Gives us our eight. We're gonna need more than that. Got another stack here. That's just... 24. Well, that, we'll see how far that gets us. Okay. Heard the Enderman out there. Now, where are we going to put this thing at? Um, all right, get my shovel with my auto repair on it, and we're going to want to well, nine, so three by three. We're going to put our seared bricks down here first. Like it. And let me think here where I want this stuff. I'll probably extend this part of the building out. So let's do this. And let's Put our drain. Let's put that in the house here. All 
Alright, I think the big part has to go on the inside. And this connects to it like that. And then we could put our controller next to it. And I don't know <laughs> which way that one goes. And then we could put our lava there. And we could take this block out. And of course, I'm pretty picky on how my house looks. So. I'm going to stick that piece there. Uh, get the compressed cobble. I'm going to take this piece. Stick it down there. Stick my casting table there. Like that. But we got to finish this wall out here. Now, I don't know if there's blood in this one. But if stuff jump in here and fall in here, they can burn and die. Sounds evil. That's the way it works. And I think uh, so now we're going to have to need to get some lava to get this thing working. Um, what else did we have? I think we got everything hooked up. Let's go get some lava and see if this thing actually works. I do believe I got lava over here, but I gotta watch it because there's lava monsters in it. So, huh. Let's see. Is there any lava monsters? Don't see any. And there's a cow with a hat. I should get that hat. I, won't, I wonder... If you could fill this. Hey, look at that. So it's going to take a couple trips, so I'll be back once I get this thing filled. Alright, now I'm back. Now, I'm going to have to probably move my bed. For the simple fact is, I think this gets hot. It can burn. Catch wooden things on fire. So I kind of have to keep an eye on my door, too. My door goes. I'm going to let everything and their mother in here. So I have built the basement. I don't want my bed down there though. I kind of want it where it's convenient for me. It's where I can hurry up easily jump in bed. So I'll just end up sticking it right there. For now. Alright, so let's get, let's see what we got. Now let's see if this is going to work. This is the powder and stuff that I've gotten. And I believe I got aluminum ore. Let's let's try with the aluminum ore. And I do believe if I take four, it will make a Yeah, okay. Aluminum ore gravel. Whoops. Okay, let's I wonder if that'll cook. Okay, see it's it's cooking. And now I should have aluminum in here when that's done cooking. Now it's going to use the lava up. All right, I got some more uh, seared bricks now. I got just a stack and almost a half. So ran out of gravel. Let's see if we could do this now. It's like this. There it is. Okay. Now I have to make the drain. Just that. And then we can make... Gotta make that faucet. Alright. So I kind of... Built this up a little bit. So I want what I want to do, I want to make some more of them blocks real quick. Let's make some bricks. This way I'll keep a couple left over just in case. I'm going to go outside. It's morning, so I should be fine. Had a creeper blow up here before and filled it all up with dirt.
clothes me in with dirt. Kinda cool. Ah, wrong block. The idiot. Use it. What's that splashing? Oh, it's fish. A little fish. Cool. Get a fishing rod. Do some fishing. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna build that up like that. And like that. But I, I want stuff to go up there. So maybe what I'll do is put a block there so they can still climb up. But they'll fall in. All right. Let's see what we're going to do here. I wish I had more of these blocks, but I'll replace these when I get more of them blocks. Um, that's probably not going to work out there. Let's put on another one here. So that they can't jump up there. I want them to fall in. I want the blood. Because I'm evil. I have to move my door out. I probably don't have enough cobble to do this. No. Got enough to do that. That's it. Temporary. It's temporary, people. Temporary. Alright. Get my pickaxe back out. And I'll take these blocks and move them and replace that cobblestone with it in a little bit. When I get the chance. Um, I guess that can go. Alright. So I want to put my, I'm going to put it right here, and now I'm going to want to get rid of that. Let's do this. Put this down in the hole. Put it in here. Yeah, now let's see. Now I got the copper on the bottom. Let's. How many? It should tell you how many ingots you get. I, I don't. I get 13 ingots. That's not going to be enough. But I get to show you what it does. So. Pretty much, this is what it does. And I'll pour it in there. And then when it's done. That'll solidify into a block of copper. So now I have a block of copper. And I could take and I'll stick it in this box here. So there's the smeltery. We got the smeltery set up. And I guess next time I'll, I'll start making tools or whatnot. And like I said, I made a basement here, but. I mean, this is it. I didn't know what to do down here yet. I'd like to get more of this, these blocks here. I'd like to keep it all looking like that, but I don't think it's going to happen. And I'm going to work on getting all this going because I need to get this smeltery going so I can make some better metals. So I can make some generators, make some steel. So I could get a generator going, get some electric, and power up this stuff over here. This, um, whatever this is, this charging station. And figure out what all this network switches do and all that. And I don't know what this is, network cable, matter network cable. I don't know what that does either. So what I might do is go try to find another one of these spaceships and just rip it apart and bring all the pieces back here. That's what I might do.
So until then, I will see you guys next time. Uh, that is the smeltery. And if you didn't know how to build a smeltery, hopefully you do now. Hopefully my video helps you out uh, with the seared brick and all that stuff and the, what the stuff does. Um, like I said, I, I'm not good with this stuff. But as I learn, I like to show you guys too. So any of you people following me with this m video series of mine can learn how to do it too. So if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything new that I might put out. If you're old to my channel and you are a subscriber, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. You guys are great. And I will see you next time. Bye. Hmm. Let's see what he says here. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the idio. What's an idio? I think he meant idiot. And I think he's referring to you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oh, see? He fixed it. Whatever. Who's the idiot now? You.